Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share how I recreated this cute little herb wall planter. This was one of the options for the Look for Less Challenge that I gave you all to vote on. And a lot of you wanted to see how I would make my version. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Since I wanted to make sure that you all could recreate this yourselves, I wanted to make sure that I can find a wire basket that easily resembled the ones that were already in the original, as well as easy to find. And I came across these at Hobby Lobby. Unfortunately, during the time I was making this, they had a price increase. They're no longer $4.99, they are $6.99 now, but you can get them at 50% off, so you can get them for $3.50 each. Now referring back to the original project, as you can see, this little wall unit is kind of small and only holds a couple of herb baskets. I decided that for this, I wanted to do three baskets to make my herb planter a little bit larger and it is metal, but of course I don't know how to weld, so I decided to use wood instead. Since the Latino engineer was already working outside, I asked him to go ahead and rip some 2x4s down for me. And what I asked him to do was remove the rounded edges off the 2x4 to make it straight and square. Now I asked him to cut two of the boards as you see here in 36 inch lengths and then the other ones the size of the baskets. Which ended up being a little bit longer than 10.5 inches just so that the basket could fit inside and in between each of the 2x4s. Now as you can see here I had already stained them. I'll try to link the exact stain in the description box below. So next I got some wood glue and I glued both of the ends of each of the smaller pieces of 2x4 and I glued them to the longer pieces. I used an old chip brush for this. And then in order to hold them together while the wood glue dried, I used a couple of clamps. And then I repeated the same steps on the other side. I let them dry overnight. The next day I took a drill and made some holes in order to drill some screws and make the frame a little bit more stable. I made sure to drill the holes to have a countersink in them, that way once I drilled in the screws, the screws were flat on the wood. Afterwards, I laid the baskets evenly inside of the 2x4s and I marked them with painter's tape so that I know exactly where we need to screw them in. You can definitely do this on your own, but sometimes a pair of extra hands does help, especially when you're trying to hold something in place. And then basically what the Latino engineer did here was screw a couple of screws from the inside of the basket going into the frame. That way it held it together. And don't worry about the screw color, we will address that later. Each basket had two screws on either side. Now I knew I wanted to leave the top basket with a little bit more clearance above it because I was going to place a sign over the top. So I went to my Cameo and I created a couple of different decals, one in Spanish and one in English. The original wall planner had an herb sign in metal, but since I don't have a way to cut metal, I went ahead and did it differently. And these decals will actually be available on my online shop as soon as it goes live. And both versions will be available, both the Spanish and the English versions. Mm -hmm. 
Now I went ahead and put these decals on some nice quality poster board and then I cut them down to be a little bit smaller and fit the frame. Now I decided to create a small little frame for this out of some dowels and I used my little mini miter saw kit. However, if you choose to do this, you can actually put the word herbs on a piece of wood or on a piece of sheet metal as well and you can create a sign that way or you can actually frame it with a ready-made frame. So instead of staining it, I decided to take this treasure gold new paint from Plaid and actually paint the little dowels in the color antique silver to kind of match the baskets that were hanging on the frame. I gave each of the dowels one full coat and let them dry completely before adhering them together with some E6000. And I used these cute little clamps from Dollar Tree in order to hold my frame together while the E6000 dried. Then after the E6000 was completely dried, I removed the little clamps and gave the frame another coat of paint. So while that second coat was drying, I took that same paint and I came over to the little frames where those screws were that were kind of yellow and I gave them one coat a piece in order to hide them a little bit better and blend in with the rest of the baskets. And I think I did a pretty good job of camouflaging them. Now what I did find was that the Dollar Tree larger terracotta pots fit perfectly in these baskets. So I went ahead and used some of them and some fake greenery because right now I don't have any herbs that are living to put in these planters. But I definitely hope to have some soon. It only took a couple of large nails to hang this from the wall. All you have to do is hang the frame right over them and you're done. I'll show you a picture of what the entire piece looks like shortly. Now I used some glue in order to adhere the word herbs right onto that little silver frame made of dowels and then I actually temporarily just attached it to the wood because I think I want to do something a little bit different in the future maybe, I'm not sure, but for right now it works. Again, you can use any type of framing that you want to add the herbs on top of the framed wall piece and I think it'll work just fine. I think this all came together very beautifully. The wood and the metal just came together perfectly. I hope to have this piece in my sunroom actually holding real herbs. Let's cross our fingers that it does happen and I can keep them alive. Let me know your thoughts on this recreation of the herb wall planter. This recreation only cost me about $10.50 because I had pretty much everything on hand except for those baskets. And even if you had to buy a 2x4 for $3.50, you can get one at Home Depot and you'll have enough wood in order to recreate this on your own. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to get more inspiration like this. And I have some more inspiration for you to watch right now on the screen. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, adios.